días, buenos días a todos. Buenos días, buenos días. Are you recording? Um, yes, welcome from your Hispanic Heritage Month. This is going to be the staff interview. Okay, so we're going to start with a few questions. Okay, please bear with me. Um, I just want to know a little bit more about your background and where you're coming from. So we're going to begin with what is your name and what is your role in the school? My name is uh, Nicholas Bardoni. I am the assistant principal at the school. And my name is Nujai Merchant, and I'm the school counselor here at our school. All right, thank you. And um, where were you born? I was actually born in, uh, in the South, South Miami. <laughs> um, so I was actually born in South Miami, Austin, in South Miami, Florida. <laughs> okay. Um, Ms. Merchant? I was born in Jackson Memorial Hospital, Miami, as well. <laughs> okay, what is your family's country of origin? My family's uh, origin is from Argentina, so we're, we're either farther south from <laughs> the Europe of South America. So mom and dad are from Argentina? Both mom and dad are from Argentina. Oh, Miss Merchant? Um, both my parents are from Colombia. Okay. Uh, how long have you lived in the United States or in, in, in your parents? How long have your parents been in the United States? I think that's a trick question because if with that you can try to find out my age. I think that's a trick question going around the age part. <laughs> uh, but um, my parents have been here, I want to say, for about uh, 50 years maybe? Give or take. Give or take? Okay, okay. All right, I'm Ms. Merchant. Well, my mom, she first came to the country before my dad, so she's been here about 50 years and my dad close to my age. Like 35. <laughs> okay. okay. Have you always known English and or Spanish? And how did you learn? So I uh, I've always learned I've always known Spanish. Spanish was actually my first language. Um, when I entered kindergarten, because I, I only knew Spanish, um, the team, I wasn't very social. I didn't talk too much. Uh, so my uh, teachers actually had me repeat kindergarten because they thought that it would be help me socialize um, and learn the language better. Oh, wow. Okay. Miss Merchant. Okay, so the same thing. Um, Spanish was my first language because of my parents and family. Um, I did enter the ESOL program. I do, re I do remember all of that. I didn't get retained, but I did enter the ESOL program. I remember getting pulled out and it was fun. But I got out of the ESOL program maybe like by second, third grade, and I was giving, um, they gave us Spanish as an elective, so every day we would have Spanish. So that helped me um, develop my Spanish language even better, where I write and read and speak very fluently um, the, the language as well. Okay, um, has, uh, what motivated your family to move to the United States? What motivated my family? Well, my father, my father moved to this country because my grandfather um, received a job offer in the United States, so he moved uh, the family. So my father had to come. Uh, my mother was more motivated through love and compassion and the whole. Uh, the, 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 the power of the heart that motivated her to move. <laughs> so it's the same story as Mr. Bardoni, but vice versa. It was my mom's grand, I mean my grandfather from my mom that got a job offer here in the United States. And he came first because he didn't want to move the family because they were fine in Colombia. And he's like, let me check out the country, let me see how it is before I decide to bring my family. So he then brought my uncle and then brought my mom and her sister and my grandma. And they settled in. It wasn't hard. It wasn't easy because, mind you, living up, having a house in Colombia, then living in a one or two bedroom apartment with three kids, it wasn't easy for them. But they settled in and they moved from. They settled first in New Jersey. My grandpa didn't like the cold. He said, "I'm out of here." Then they came to Florida. And um, my dad was because of love. My mom <laughs> met my dad in Colombia, and he came here. So he settled here because of love. A lot of people do that, <laughs> me included. Here, out of love. Okay, uh, what is a historic, um, Hispanic tradition that you wish to pass down, that your parents have passed down to you? I think 
the, uh, the biggest tradition that my family has passed down to my brother and myself is family, right? So we're very, we're very close, very united. Um, especially now with technology, we still talk on a weekly basis with our cousins and our aunts in Argentina. Um, so the sense of, of family, I think, is something that I want to continue. Um, me too, not copying, but uh, my family is united, very, very oh, united. Colombia, no, <laughs> no, 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 we're very united, um, but just like my mom's side of the family, because they're the ones who immigrated, only my dad's family stayed over in Colombia, so we kept communication, but every time we go, we go visit, so unity is very important in my family, and um, we try not to break that, because um, my grandma kept the tradition, and a tradition that we're like moving forward is that show our kids the culture so i've always gone to colombia my whole life so i bring my kids with me whenever we can so they can keep that trip. not be like i've seen friends and people that oh no i'm never going to that country you've been there one time when you're like five and never going again no i want them to keep that tradition of where they where we came from our ancestors and um that we're going to continue yeah i think that's a it's a, it's a very important point that merchant makes because my, uh, when I was younger, my uh, my parents were separated, so my mother used to send us every summer. School would end here, and the next that weekend we would fly to Argentina. We, my brother and I, would both stay in Argentina for the entire two months of summer break. So we were able to understand and learn the culture and be raised kind of yeah. like if we were in Argentina. So I think that's the same thing with my my kids. Um, we would like to keep that the culture. Yeah, to keep the close contact with the yeah. culture, just being there, getting right. to know the people, getting to know the country, the places that you can talk about the specific territory. Okay, so another question. Uh, what do you think are the contributions that these families have made to the U.S.? It, it, that's a broad question. Um, I think Hispanics, in general, the, the Hispanic community has it, it has made a huge impact, um, especially in South Florida, Miami. I think if it wasn't for uh, the Cuban Americans that came, in, you know, back in with the Mariel, I think if it wasn't for Venezuelans or Colombians, Argentinians, people that actually came to this country with the with the working mentality. Uh, Miami wouldn't be the, the melting pot and the, the, the mecca of the international communities, international um, business that it is today. Yes, they do. And they also come here with their knowledge. Yeah. Oh, we have a lot of things that we can learn from them when they come into this person. Okay, so I feel like the same as Mr. Bardoni, but I want to just um, bring out that we should have more um, Hispanics in the politics area because we don't see that a lot. I would love to see a Spanish president, a Hispanic president, but you don't know, but I would like that because yes, we brought a lot of culture, a lot of different knowledge from our countries, but we need to bring that as well into politics. Yes. Okay, so last question. What is a phrase or a saying, it could be an expression that reminds you of your country? <laughs> there's I a think, lot. Yeah, there's Can a lot. That's why I have. I think. I think the, a lot of people associate Argentina with the word "che." <laughs> and like Mr. Baroni, you too, like right? "che." No, just, just that say. for sure. Just to, you know? No, the phrases <laughs> are definitely different because the language right. is different, the way they speak is different. <laughs> but we always say, like I say a lot, "aha" and "don't say." That's like "aha." Uh -huh. like, I oh, 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 okay, pues. I so, I pues. I pues. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I do do until this age, when my mom called me, I can't say what. I have to say señora. señora. Uh -huh. So that's something Colombians really have really do. Señora y señor. Yeah. Regardless of how old you are, you have to respond señor or señora, respect. which is sir respect. or ma'am or whatever. Missing respect. Yeah. The respect. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us on.